So time and oxygen seems to be running out. Mm. And tonight we have a firsthand account of what it's like inside that sub. Our Shana Ferreira spoke with a local man who made this exact voyage and he took the trip on the same sub twice. That's right, this immersible known as the Titan could run out of its oxygen supply by Thursday morning. And the local man I spoke to says he's gone on two missions in the last two years, adding the dive is known to be extremely dangerous. The sands are running out of the hourglass as rescuers search the depths of the Atlantic Ocean for the submersible known as the Titan. Alfred Hagen, a Bucks County construction developer, has gone on two Titan missions. I dove the Titanic on the Titan in both 2021 and 2022. He says the Titan is an experimental vehicle and contrary to popular belief, not a tourism attraction. Stockton Rush is a visionary, he's a brilliant visionary who wanted to access the deepest parts of the ocean and I consider it like exploring inner space as opposed to outer space and he created the, the Titan to go to incredible depths. Depths that he says not even nuclear submarines can travel. The Titan goes three miles deep and he says there's only a handful of subs in the world that can withstand that pressure. As it stands, the Titan's draw is for researchers and explorers to document the wreckage of the Titanic. They're going as mission specialists. They're concerned with the science of the mission. They're, they're investigating the condition of the wreck, the rate of deterioration. Everyone has an assigned duty. When you get down that deep, you've gone past the realm of light. You're into a world of utter darkness where not a single ray of light can penetrate. But the Titanic Explorer vessel as of Tuesday evening has lost connection with its mothership as rescuers from multiple entities, including the U.S. Navy and Canadian military officials, searched thousands of miles for the missing submersible. It's just heartbreaking to know that they may be suffering and gasping for air. Hagen tells us, though, it's not uncommon to lose connection or communication to the mothership due to the depth of the dive. He says the dwindling oxygen supply is what's most worrisome. The concern is that they're going to run out of oxygen. Mm -hmm. And they're going to run out of oxygen probably by Thursday morning at 11 a.m. Now, despite international rescue efforts, the U.S. Coast Guard officials say the search covering about 10,000 square miles had turned up no signs of the Titan. Officials say they plan to continue those search efforts, but time is ticking. Shana Ferreira, Fox 29 News.